And the only way to get that... The choking game involves cutting off the flow of blood to the brain in exchange for a few seconds of feeling lightheaded. According to the game's Adolescents Shouldn't Play, or GASP organization, it's a misunderstood activity causing death and suffering for thousands of families worldwide. Joel Smith is a local father who has experienced this suffering firsthand. We lost our son two years ago uh, to the choking game. He played it, he learned it at school, played it by himself and didn't win. And ever since then we've been full bore of just trying to raise awareness in the community and the state even. Uh, so other parents don't have to suffer like we've had to suffer. Joel and his wife helped to spread the word by distributing brochures and items like these bracelets to remind people of the dangers associated with the choking game and to help prevent future injuries or death. Our goal is to keep it in the limelight to where kids are like, oh no, I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. Um, that's pretty much our big goal is just to stop it completely. But we know it, it may never stop, but the more we can help prevent another loss, the better. Smith hopes parents will educate their children about this deadly activity. Parents need to talk to their children. They need to bring this subject to light. It's no different than drugs. It's no different than alcohol. The problem with this is just one time and that's all it takes and you could lose your child to this deadly game. Smith is currently working with school board officials and state senators to introduce the subject to children during school hours. I'm Kevin Ryan reporting for St. Luke's Health System.